Hi guys, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a get ready with me traveling to Red Deer edition. And so I'm just going to quickly do my makeup for the trip and then we're going to talk about um, what I'm going to be doing, what our plans are, etc. So first, like usual, um, actually today I haven't even moisturized. So I'm going to go in with that same moisturizer I used in my last video. This is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer by Peter Thomas Roth. So I'm just going to put some of this on first. So yes, yeah, so this was kind of an impromptu trip. We just kind of figured out yesterday that we were going at all. And I did not actually expect to be going, but I'm glad we are because it's summer and it's always nice to go down there during summer. Maybe we can go to like a, water, like a spray park or a water park or something like that. So we'll see how warm it is going to be. I think it was 20 when I woke up this morning, which was pretty good for like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Okay, so I'm going to um, use my Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. And this is actually the products I'm going to be bringing with me. So all of the stuff I'm using right now, as soon as I am done using it, I'm just popping it into this Tarte little bag here, the purple lining. Normally bags like that, I don't necessarily keep them. I usually just chuck them if I don't like them or I give them away to friends or family. But that one, because of the deep royal purple lining, I had to keep it. <laughs> because that is my ultimate favorite color. Okay, so this is making my skin feel so soft. I actually really like that primer. And the reason I'm bringing it, not only because it's small, but because it kind of has all in one benefit. It feels hydrating, but it's also very silicone based. So it presses and fills in your pores. I really like that. Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm using my Tarte Found Sealer in 35G Medium Golden. I really like mixing both of these shades, but because I'm trying to limit how much stuff I take with me, whoops, I'm only bringing the one. And also, I'm not really tanned right now because I haven't really been like tanned or anything. So I guess I don't really want to say the golden rule, but one of the rules of makeup is that your face should be a little bit lighter than your neck. So you either wear a darker foundation and then bronze your neck or a lighter foundation and then you don't have to bronze anything. But of course, you guys know I still go in with bronzer and contour. I'm just going to keep stamping this beauty blender all over to make sure that I have the best seamless finish. I did add too much product on my head because I'm in a rush now but I am just going to kind of take it off with the other side of the sponge. So again, any brush that I use today, I will also put into my um, Sigma brush holder here. I've got it ready. I'm going to limit how much product I'm taking with me this time because usually I take too much and then I don't even end up using half of it. So we will take um, my e.l.f. color corrector. I don't love the product but it has actually worked for me as long as I cover it up with concealer after. So we're just gonna pluck that right on there and quickly blend that out, okay? And then we're just gonna go straight in with my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. This is the shade C14. I like it because it's yellow based. It's lighter than the other ones. It gives my eye a little bit of brightening. And again, I'm not going to be highlighting here. I'm going to try for a quick look today. I always say that and it always ends up being longer than anticipated. I always underestimate the time it takes to get ready. Always. Never fails. So I'll bring it up onto the lid a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to use shape tape right now. So I'm just going to put some powder right on the sponge and, and then I'll do the entire face after. I guess I'm going to have to use my little powder sweet brush. It's my favorite and I love how it applies underneath the eye. So that's the first brush I'll be taking. The second brush I take, I usually take my F20, but today I'm actually going to take my tapered face F25 because it feels like it's a little bit smaller and it actually does apply less product. And actually I was saying that I don't really like this. I could probably take it out. Yeah, see I could. I could just, oh no, I can't even. Look at that. I don't like that little mesh in this thing, but it does help to keep the product application at a minimum so I'm not putting on tons of product. I guess that's a bonus. So I will take my Magic Star Powder with me. So I will be taking the one in beige because it's lighter than banana. 
So I'll take that, I'm putting that brush in there, I'm putting my sponge in my makeup bag, and my foundation in my makeup bag, and now next. So I am just going to take one palette for, ooh, I might even use this for highlight, I don't know. This is my all-in-one palette, so this is my Tarte um, Clay Plate Volume 2 Eye and Cheek Palette, so I'm going to take this. Um, usually I like to bring different colors and stuff, but um, to save on room, this is what's going in the bag. So I'm going to take my F40 Large Angled Contour. I'm going to start contouring a little bit with the cheek just to give my face some definition. And this is the shade in Terracotta. Oh, it's really potent. I think I've only used this once for contouring. So at the same time, I'm just going to bring some of the product up on the forehead here. I know I said I wasn't going to contour, but I'll just do a little bit and just a smidge down there. So that's really all I'm doing. It's going to be very, very quick. That brush is coming with me and also my F10 powder blush. I'll dip it in this blush. It's called Desert. I like the names of this too. This is really pretty blush. I've used this many times. Actually kind of reminds me of the uh, the Mini Weekender. I could actually just take the Mini Weekender Hamptons palette. This one has more like colors for the eyes so although if I just decide to do like liner and lashes I don't necessarily have to do eyeshadow. It would save on time. Maybe. Let's see. Where's my Weekender palette? Here's a little tiny Weekender palette. This is cute too. But I feel like that shade isn't as dark. It's actually more, actually more like neutral. I could take that one. I like it. I just really like this light shade. Even if I don't put anything else on my lid, I like to like use that on my, like all over my lid. If I'm just going to go in with a liner or something, it just kind of cleans everything up. Maybe I'll just take both. I think I have room. Let's see. Do I have room in this little bag here? Perhaps. Actually, let's not bother taking this one. I'm gonna put this one back. I don't need it. I will take this one though. So this also gives me options. I've got my blush in there and my bullet bronzer and this little highlighter, which I like. So we'll take it for that purpose. So I will take my Soft Blend Concealer F64, put on a bit of highlight here, give my face some light. So yes, I'm taking my vlogging stick or my selfie stick, I guess I'd call it taking it and I'm going to try to vlog in the when we go for beer. So I hand out some of my handmade business cards to people and the last time I was there I had a pretty good success so I'm hoping for the same thing again. Just as a side note I'm taking all my Anastasia products actually just the Brow Wiz and the Claire Brow Gel and I'm taking my chocolate and medium brown just in case my medium brown um, runs out because I know it's almost empty. We'll see. I'll just quickly do brows here on camera just to show you how I do them. And actually, this is more like a rushed brow. I'm hoping I don't get it completely messed up here. I really just fill in the little hairs and I do it in little hairline strokes. And I know, like, on the left brow, there's like a big chunk that's kind of left. Then it's sometimes I just brush it in to kind of make it a little bit better. And at the front, I kind of give upward hair like strokes just to bring my eyebrow up further because I feel like my eyebrows are set so far apart. So I like to do that. And usually it's right here. So, like, I find that I'm really missing. And then also here. I feel like, I don't know if I pluck that, like I know you're not supposed to pluck above your brow, you're only supposed to pluck below, but I don't remember ever doing that when I was a kid. I can't remember now. I mean, when I was a kid, I did crazy stuff. I think all of us did crazy stuff when we were kids. But yeah, I'm excited to go to a brewery and vlog it. Like, I won't go, like, excessive. I'll just, like... I'm not going to talk to the owners or anything. I won't have anybody in the vlog. It'll just be like my family and me pretty much. There we go. See? Quick. I didn't mess up. Which is pretty rare for me when I'm rushing. You guys know that. So I'm just putting a little bit of clear brow gel on top to hold those little guys in place. Oh, easy peasy. And now, oh, no, don't follow. Okay, so I'm taking this liner. This is 
a purple liner. Well, not purple, it's like blue. The Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Soft Glide Longwear Eyeliner Shimmer Don't Wine. It's actually wine, but you know what? Plum, wine, kind of looks the same to me, honestly. Oh my gosh, my under eyes. What happened there? Sometimes if I notice something is going on with my under eye like this, I'll just take my ring finger because it's like gentler than any other finger and just give it a little quick wipe. So I'm taking this plum wine liner and just lining the lower lash line. I was going to do the upper, but it's actually, it'll just give my eyes some definition and a little bit of like, it's not as harsh as black, which is really why I like it. Oops. But it just gives it a little something extra that isn't there from before. So I just gave it a little sharpen so it'd be good for me to go. Um, now I'm, I'm going to bring this black liner by Better Than Sex by Too Faced, but I'm not going to use it today. And then I'm going to also spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus because I'm bringing my mini with me. That's before I put on my mascara. Whew. I'm just going to let it dry quick. And I am bringing two mascaras with me. So I'm actually bringing my uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Feline in Black is Black and then my Total Temptation um, by Maybelline. So I think I'll use this one first. Well, not first, I'll just use this one for today. <laughs> well, when I'm rushing, seriously can't talk. So I'm just gonna pile this stuff on. You guys know I'm crazy about my mascara. And psycho. I'm like a mascara fanatic. Actually, this is going on really nice. I always do one eye fantastic and then the other eye sucks. And also, I'm not bringing lashes. I find that whenever I bring lashes, I always end up messing up. Or when I'm in a rush, which is going to be like pretty much all the time. So, I'm more concerned about just having fun and just kind of getting away from the city for a little bit. Rather than worrying about my makeup. This is probably like the less the least amount of makeup I've worn in a while other than the days that I don't wear makeup at all but yeah so I I brought my like you're also gonna see like I'm gonna do a vlog of Red Deer and I'm gonna include my packing like what I've packed and stuff so like this is kind of part of the vlog but I'll post this separate as a get ready with me packing for Red Deer or whatnot but I will also I'm gonna do a quick vlog of the garden before I go and um, just to kind of show you guys like what I have in the garden and my setup Mind you, it's still full of weeds, so please don't mind the weeds. Okay, so again, just piling it on. I wait for one eye to dry, and then I kind of go back with the other eye. And I just put some more on, and it's very natural. Like, I'm not wearing eyeshadow. I usually always wear eyeshadow. And actually, I'm a little surprised. I kind of like it. I could go in with my bronzer, because I am taking the Weekender palette instead of, like, the Big Play Play Volume 2. So I could go in with a little bit of bronzer and just, like, define my eye. Sometimes I find, like, it doesn't look like eyeshadow or anything. It just looks, it looks nice, you know? Just to give your eye a little bit of definition. See? The left eye always messes up on me. It doesn't look as nicely defined as this one. Okay. You know what? Good enough. Let's do the inner corner lashes a little bit. There. I gotta stop. I could keep going. So I'm also taking two lip glosses. I'm taking both my Buxom uh, Full On Plumping Lip Polishes. This one is the shade Sugar. Oh, Sugar? Which one is that? I thought Princess was the... Hold on. Let me see. I don't think I've used the shade Sugar. Okay, so this is the difference. This is Sugar, this is Samantha, and this is Princess. I was going to use this one, but I'm going to use Sugar. I forgot I had it. So give my lips a little color, but also a little sparkle. I love this stuff. Okay, one more thing before we go. I'm taking two perfumes with me. So I'm going to take my Dolce & Gabbana The One. I'm also going to take my Dahlia Divine by Givenchy. And those are the two perfumes. So normally I don't take those. I like to rotate through every now and then. The last time I went to my dear, I think I took my uh, Victor & Rolf Bonbon. And I think I took my Michael Kors um, Ruby, I think it's called. Anyway. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I'm going to vlog our trip. So as we're driving, I'm just going to kind of take little snippets here and there and put it all together in a vlog. I'm going to call it my Red Deer vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll talk to you very soon. Take care.